Hi, this is Margaret with Mobile Desktop, and this is a video on presets in Premiere Pro. Let's say that I really like this effect, and I might want to use it as a theme in my film. You can make a preset of really anything. Color correction, you can make a preset of changing the scale in a certain way. So everything has a preset. In this case, here's this directional blur. I'm going to go over to my effects control and I'm going to control click on it. And over here I have the option that says save preset. So when it says scale, this is pointing to the fact that I have a certain length in my adjustment layer. This directional blur is has its keyframes set apart a certain way in relation to this adjustment layer. If I say scale, if this adjustment layer is a full minute long, it's going to be a super long effect because it's going to adjust itself to the length. Anchor to in point will make it start at the beginning of the adjustment layer. In this case, anchor to out point would make it end there and it would stay the same size. I'm going to say scale. Good with adjustment layers for video transitions. Now I'm going to say OK. So now, where is this? I'm going to go over to my effects. And now let's see over here, I have a folder called presets. And here's my directional blur preset. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this video clip. It doesn't have to be on an adjustment layer. Let's say for this book, I'm going to make some color correction on this. Window workspace color. This is showing me right off the bat that I am underexposed and a tiny bit overexposed. Let's do our corrections first on our RGB curves. I'm going to lift up the overall lighting on the bottom here. Whoops. I'm going to go to blue because that seems to be where a lot of the underexposures. Then I'll just do the overall lighting here. Let's see, like so. There's a little red on the bottom there. I'm going to get that up as well. a little bit just correct this a basic exposure where I've lifted up the shadows and I've lowered the highlights just a little bit let's say that's my preset effects control Lumetri color control clip save preset I'm going to call this moderate exposure correction I'm going to leave it at scale as well and I'll just say okay so now where's this Here's Lumetri color. Where did they go? Why aren't they here? Well, because for whatever reason, they are saving themselves in the effects browser. So just as a, just to let you know that if you do a color correction preset, that's where you're going to look for it under your presets in your effects window workspace. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on presets. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.